all right guys what is going on welcome back to another video as you can see it is october these leaves are changing oh my gosh also before we get started today i need to make an announcement i've been wanting to say this for a really really long time guys we finally broke 1,000 subscribers freaking insane let's go so i am planning on doing a 1,000 subscriber special video which will probably be next video but uh i don't have time to make that until this weekend so yeah i got a whole bunch of stuff planned speaking of that though if you have any suggestions of any challenges i'm taking any last minute comments ideas suggestions whatever you want leave them down in the comment section below i already have a pretty good idea of what i think i want to do but if you have something you want to see, make sure to let me know in the comments. All right, anyways, today we are going to be learning or trying to learn a new move. So if you guys watched one of my last tricking videos, then you kind of saw my layout for the next few months, like the rest of the year, basically. So October, which is now, is going to be the month of swing variations. So I spent all of September really trying to get better at my gainer swing throughs and I feel like they're much better now so we're gonna bang one out real quick and then we're gonna work on something new all right the grass is pretty wet but I don't really care I need to film this video so first slip of the day here we go all right not gonna lie uh, the fact that it's pretty slippery really makes me not want to do this video but we're gonna grind through it anyway because I have not really been able to practice the entire week all right, first things first, let's get ourselves a swing through. You love the way that I apologize. I'd do anything to turn around. But this war that we've been fighting out can be one until you're real. Not too bad once I like committed to it. Took like seven-ish minutes to commit to, so not bad. Ugh. All right, so let me break down my thought process real quick. So gainer swing throughs, honestly, not a difficult skill for me anymore. Last month, that would have warranted an entire video by itself, but guess what? It ain't September no more because it is October and we're focusing on swing variations. So that is definitely not the end of this video. So basically what I want to try today is a gainer swing through corkscrew. So if you don't know, gainer is like that flip that I just did, except I did it twice. And a corkscrew is that flip with a twist. So I want to do one back flip like that, land swing through into a cork. I've never done anything like that. I have only tried to swing into a cork one other day. And <laughs> I mean, if you guys have watched that video, you know how poorly that went. So yeah, I'm going to do my best to break it down for you. This is not a tutorial. This is not like anything special this is just me kind of like playing out my thought process so here we go first thing that i like to do especially when i was learning the gainer swing through is like feeling more comfortable committing is just starting on that one foot i already did one of those flips today you guys saw so i'm going to do it again but start on one foot basically just pretend like i'm landing back on that one foot already in the eagle and then swing into a gainer so that's what we're going to start with like this full swing So it essentially mimics the motion of the landing of the first gainer and then lets me practice swinging out of the first gainer essentially. So I kind of want to like use that strategy except swing a cork. So <laughs> I have done a few corkscrews from standing with like zero steps, one steps, all that stuff. So I feel like it's going to be kind of similar. I have no idea how this is going to go because normally for corkscrews I have a pretty good axis but for this. I'm gonna be way more inverted, so I don't know how I feel about that. Let's see. Land. I don't know. I'm just gonna do a cork. All right, that was so bad. Let me do another one. Better. So essentially, I wanna do a gainer, land on this foot, and then swing into that move. So gainer, swing through cork. I feel like most of you know what I'm talking about, but there's a lot of people that do follow me that don't know tricking terminology. So I want to do my best to educate everybody, educate the ninjatic community, you know, my ninja squad. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's try that. I've never actually done a cork from a Euro step before. All right, so yeah, because the Euro step essentially makes me take off my left leg twice, I'm gonna try and use that and then just 
make it even smaller so that I'm just doing it from standing. Right, it feels really weird. I'm gonna try and do it facing the camera the entire time. It definitely feels way more like if I was doing a standing fold just off of one leg. I do not like this. Well, I did it. Yeah, it definitely feels way more like just doing a standing full off of one leg than it does a corkscrew. Like, totally different tricks. But anyways, I like to do that just to get me in like the right mindset for swinging out of that initial flip. So, the goal today is to be able to land a gainer, swing through in a cork. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if I'll even attempt it, but one can only hope. So we're gonna try to do a couple more gainer swings, maybe throw a cork. Let's just see what happens. Back to the time where every single minute counts. All of this So essentially, I just need to do that, except upside down. So, all right, put your hands together, say a prayer for your boy, and uh, let's send this thing. Oh God, all of a sudden, there's all these bees over here. I swear, every single time, they just like find me. I'm so nervous to throw this. I feel like because the grass is still wet, I'm just gonna like land my first flip and then just eat shit. I uh, will look at the footage later and give you my commentary, but uh, I have no idea what happened. Definitely got lost in the air. Um, thankfully, didn't land on my head, so might try it one more time. I don't know, I'm kinda nervous. All right, possibly one more attempt. Here we go. All right, my ankle started tweaking. I'm not feeling it, so uh, I will give you the play-by-play -play in three, two, one. All right, guys, what is going on? So, well, yeah, I want to make a, an apology here for the sound quality on this video. <laughs> so the park where I just filmed that, like, is right next to the throughway. So there's like a lot of traffic. So sorry, it's kind of noisy. And right now, the freaking dude that was at my house decided to weed whack literally as soon as I set my camera up to record. So like, I'm so annoyed. So, anyways, I want to give you guys my breakdown of the play-by-play. -play. I did just watch the footage. This is the next day, so uh, <laughs> it's not like right after or anything. All right, so I'm actually like super happy with how close I am to getting this. It's not as bad as I thought because when I was doing the flip in midair I felt so lost like I had no idea what was going on and like honestly I've never done a cork from this kind of setup before so it was like super disorienting but all right so I'm gonna show you guys like slow-mo and give you commentary all right so first of all I just want to apologize that like the camera is kind of cutting off part of my feet I didn't realize it was like not totally in frame so that was super annoying because I really like to see where my feet are it just helps me with the whole thing but basically I was able to do the swing and I just like, I don't think I got enough flip is essentially what happened. So I'm watching it right now and like literally I do the swing through which looks pretty good. And then as I go into the cork, I'm not extending my leg first of all. So that definitely like impacts the corkscrew because you really want like a strong diagonal kick with that front leg. So if you guys watch like my slow-mo cork, I have a really good kick. That's what helps your corkscrew drive around. That's what makes it look pretty. And this is just like, I'm driving with my knee bend. It's just ugly. <laughs> so anyways, I'm doing that. I'm like super arched. I'm like twisting way too early into it. I'm not like keeping my back straight at all. And I mean, I do one flip, like I do one rotation, which is good because in my other cork swing attempts, I was doing way more than that and that's why it was wrong. But if you look, like I'm actually doing the spin correctly, I'm just not getting enough flip at all because when I come down to the ground, my chest is like parallel with the ground. So like I'm not vertical at all. So I think the main thing is just that leg drive in the front. I think I need to think about doing it more like 
my gainer, like a swing it into another gainer and then adding the twist as opposed to just really cheating it. It's basically like a horizontal 360 is what I'm trying to do. But anyways, I really am proud of like just sending it one time. Obviously, I wasn't ballsy enough to do it again, which is fine. I mean, I got the whole month to learn it, but I do really want to get this by the end of the month. So few goals before the end of October that I want for my swing variation month. All right. So this definitely want to have by the end of October. So this is called a zero one. So I want to have zero one by October. I want to have cork swing cork, which is a one one. I want to have a cork swing gainer just for variation purposes. So that's a one zero. And then I also really need to work at my TDR setups because I haven't landed a TDR swing anything in months. It's been like two months. So I really want to have a consistent TDR zero. So TDR swing through chi gainer and then a TDR one. So a TDR swing through cork, which I've never actually attempted before. So that should be interesting. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about like this kind of breakdown, like me giving you my thought process as opposed to just showing you like everything with almost no context. I know some of you guys already are really good at tricking and you have like a lot of idea of what's going on already. Some of you don't know much about tricking. So I kind of like to break it down because I do get a lot of questions from you guys on Instagram and in the comment section, just asking for like a more explanation. So let me know if you like this kind of video or if you'd rather just have it more like cinematic, you know, not really much narration. Let me know in the comments. Anyways, thank you so much for 1k again. I can't believe it. We gained another like 20 something subscribers in the past like 48 hours. So this is freaking crazy guys you guys are killing it like road to 5k next year baby like let's see if we can do it so anyways thank you so much for watching the video i really hope you enjoyed it as always give it a like if you did subscribe if you are new and until next time i will see you in the next video peace out